how's it going, everybody? Hoodlumut, back with some more Steinsgate. And, uh, oh boy, we, uh, almost certainly have changed the future. Uh, well, changed the past, which now screwed up. We, we changed time. We, 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 we somehow messed with time by getting a lottery ticket. Um... So, we'll see what happens with that, I guess. We'll just kind of get right back into the mood here. I ignore the worried stares of my lab mems and head outside for some fresh air. I need to calm down and figure this out. The ticket Lukaku bought turned out to be a fourth place. The prize is just 5,000 yen. Hey there, Okave Rintaro. Oh, oh look at that! Happy music again. It's fine. We we just ch changed the, the the past and potentially messed with time and screwed everything up. But you know, hey, let's just jive for a minute here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Suzaha calls out to me. She's still polishing her bicycle. Tenoji Ne is squatting next to her watching her work with great interest. Two questions come to mind. One, how long has she been polishing that thing? Two, just how much free time does the brawn tube workshop have? You look like you've been brainwashed. You okay? Brainwashed? Me? Well, there's nobody else here. I suppose you're right. Um... Which part? Being brainwashed? Or nobody else being here? Being brainwashed. You... were? Suzuha suddenly steps up to me and grabs my face. Then she forces my eyes open with her index finger and thumb. Excuse me? Whoa! What are you doing? Don't move. Oh, shoot. Suzuha peers into my eye with a serious expression. But a second later, she lets go and steps back. You're okay. You haven't been brainwashed. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. How much does the future get changed? Because we went and got a lottery ticket. <laughs> oh no. What? When you're brainwashed, they usually put a chip on the inside of your lower eyelid. Oh, that's gotta be uncomfortable. A chip? Immediately after saying that, Suzaha gasps and covers her mouth. And then she puts her hand on my shoulder and gives me an embarrassed smile. Okabe Rintaro, please keep that confidential. Uh, uh, these all are, oh no, oh no, oh wait, hold on, okay, okay, her songs, wait, okay, this is by F Faris, uh, Exacta Mundo, her songs still contain words of prophecy before they reach it, Faris, Faris, whatever, must decipher the prophecies to find the location of the holy la land yeah i don't even care about this right right now um the sanctuary has been lost for 300 years it's powerless to seek it now. no 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 or pointless to seek it now no they there's no need to put yourself in such danger retreat immediately Mind telling me what's in those songs? Remember, if you refuse 
I'll have to make you talk. I have oh, whatever. I have ways of making you talk. I, I don't care. I don't. Uh. Yeah. Just tell me what the song. Whoops. Tell me what. Tell me what the songs are. Ugh. I'm freaking out right now. I'm freaking out. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Bye. Okay. Cool. Don't tell me. Is she? So you've been captured by the organization before. Just like me. You gotta... Okabe. It's a little more serious, I think, now. Huh? The organization? Are you talking about CERN? No! Say no more! I understand your pain all too well. Y you do? The organization's secret brainwashing facility. Known as Apocalypse of Galliant. That place is a living hell. I don't want to re I don't want to revive any suppressed memories. Um right. I don't think it was called Apaco whatever though. But it certainly was a living hell. I can tell you'll make a good comrade, part-time warrior. The day of Ragnarok is near. C cool. <laughs> what is happening? How is he not be? This has got to be like his his uh, you know, like 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 a coping mechanism. He's like, oh, everything's gone awry. I just changed the universe, but uh, back to being Chinibyo. It's, it's be totally fine. Oh man. Suzuha lifts her hand in a half-hearted gesture of enthusiasm. Suzuha, what's brainwashing? Nay asks as she tugs on the hem of Suzuha's clothes. <laughs> I, Hawawin Kyoma, shall be the one to answer that. Eh? No, that's okay. <laughs> Nay hides behind Suzuha. <laughs> like how you can still see her. <laughs> Looks like Nay's afraid of you, Okabe Rintaro. She keeps calling me by my full name. I want to know why. You do well to fear me, Sister Braun, but you should also pay me respect, for I am the world's most infamous mad scientist. You're infamous? Indeed, world leaders would kill to get their hands on my genius brain cells. Wow. No, you did not just... <laughs> this is brainwashing. This is brainwashing right here, what you're doing. This is brainwashing. Still clinging to Suzuha's waist, Ne opens her eyes even wider and gasps in admiration. That's how people talk when they've been brainwashed, Nay. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Huh? Nonsense, part-time warrior. My brain has not been washed since the day I was born. <laughs> Are you a liar, Mr. Okarin? Don't call me that! <sighs> you shouldn't yell at children. Look. She's shaking. But Mr. makes me sound old. <laughs> I'm not even old enough to drink yet. This ominous music is still playing over this. This is not the right music. I'm still I'm still on edge, dude. Okay? Ah What a disgrace. No, there's no point in getting angry at a child. I need to show composure as an adult. You're even more of a perv than Okabe. I'm not using... You... Using... Oh, oh. I'm not using San for you anymore. I'm not a perv. I'm a pervy gentleman. <laughs> what does that even mean? Hey, guys. Do you think Okarin's okay? I can hear voices from the second story window. 
And since we can hear them clearly from here, Suzuha starts chuckling. You heard everything, didn't you? Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I just couldn't help it. Did you hear any... Did you hear about the time machine, too? Oh, yeah, I heard. Way to go, you! She strikes my upper arm in what I assume is a gesture of encouragement. What is way to go, you, supposed to mean? Oh, she say that in English. <laughs> you haven't told anyone, have you? If I can't trust you to keep silent, then I'll have to take extreme... I won't say a thing, I swear. Your secret's safe with me. Great. There's just one thing I'd like to ask. Did you see some kind of electrical discharge on the second floor just now? Electrical discharge? You mean like yesterday's rumbling? I nod. It happened once before. You're lucky the boss wasn't around. It shook. It was scary. I ignore the little girl's honest impression. Just now. About a minute ago. It, it should have happened again. Oh, really? I didn't see the second time. Oh boy. Suzaha tilts her head quizzically, then turns back to her bicycle. Maybe I was too preoccupied polishing my baby. <laughs> her baby? Did you see it, Nay? Nope. Sister Braun frantically shakes her head. You didn't see the second one? I didn't see it. Disappointment spreads through me. What does this mean? Events I remember happening didn't. The fact that I sent a demail. The fact that we argued over what, what to send. But Kiritsu herself remembers that I called her Celeb Sev during that argument. Right after sending the demail, I was hit by a feeling of vertigo. That's, that's probably related somehow. Did something happen? How much do you know about time travel? Uh, that's a little forward. What do you mean by that? Suzaha seems slightly suspicious. Oh boy. So I explained to her what happened just now. Oh, crap. Well, I, you know, I honestly, I trust her more than I trust Shining Finger. Because I just... I feel like she's meant to be the suspicious one, though. And it's going to be somebody else, like like Kiritsu, obviously. Because, I mean, there's, there's beef there. But, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Nay probably won't understand a word of it. So I don't think it'll be necessary to silence her. <laughs> I don't believe it. Suzaha's dumbfounded after hearing my explanation. I've never heard of anything like that. Is it true? Are you telling the truth? You're from the future, all right? You can't you, you can't fool me. Uh, of course. We've created a bona fide time machine, and we were able to change the past. Nobody can deny our accomplishments. That's right, nobody! Jeez, that's not what I meant. Suzaha grabs at her own hair in frustration. Oh, she's, she's mad, okay. But then her expression turns thoughtful. I don't know if what you're saying is true or not, but... She suddenly lowers her voice. I think you should try asking John Titter. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There's some wise advice. John Titter? I mean, he's a hot topic now, isn't he? A time traveler from the future. He might know something, since you're both time travelers and all. 
I see. You could be right. No, there's no doubt about it. The undoing of past events could possibly be explained through the many worlds interpretation that Titter talked about. And come to think of it, it was Titter's advice that led me to the IBM 5100. He should be able to give me a hint this time too. I quickly take out my phone. It's me. John Titter may have come from the future to guide me. Yeah, that's right. His arrival here in 2010 must be the choice of Steins Gate. Elsai Kongru. Who is he talking to? Don't know. Who could it be? Maybe it's someone from the future. From the future? Do you want to know who I'm talking to, Sister Braun? N no I... Nay shakes her head rapidly. She looks scared. I really expected her to be like, like kind of like a, a little tough girl, by the way, that when they first introduced us to her. If I remember, she was kind of like mean, I, I think. It's been a while since that part, but anyway. I respond with the weary expression of a mad scientist who has seen everything and lost much, much. <laughs> Good. Even if you are interested, never ask. I could tell you, but then I'd have to silence you. And I don't want to have to, to do that to an innocent girl. <laughs> Come on, stop scaring her. She's just a little girl. <laughs> I assume Ney is frightened because of the aura of danger that follows me everywhere. <laughs> She's right to be. Oh, you dummy. I'll get in touch with Titter immediately. Your advice is appreciated, part-time warrior. <laughs> Was I useful? That's grit. Part-time warrior's eyes pop open mid-sentence. Oh, crap! The boss is back! The boss is back! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I got scared for a second. Dude, every time the, the, the music stops, my heart drops, like, into my stomach, bro, every time. Oh, man. Okay. I follow Suzaha's glance to see a moped headed this way. Judging by the sheer size of the driver, it must be Mr. Braun. Nay, if manager asks, tell him I was doing my job. Okay, but you have to let me ride your bike, okay? Okay, okay. Good luck, Okabe Rentaro. I'm rooting for you. Suzaha pats me on the shoulder and rushes into the workshop. Nay and I are left in front of the store. Oh. oh, are we going to see him on a moped? The driver stops the moped and takes off his full-face helmet, revealing Mr. Braun. Welcome back, Daddy. Aw, oh, dang, I was so hoping we could see him on the moped. That'd been great. Nay, what did this nut job do to you? <laughs> just immediately, just assumes, which I guess he was right to assume because, I mean, he straight up was like brainwashing her for a sec. Manager leaps from his moped and uh, interposes himself between me and his daughter. His eyes are bloodshot. My spine freezes. What a powerful aura of malice. You son of a... How dare you make moves on my precious daughter! I'll kill ya! Wait, I haven't done anything. Then why were you talking with Ney alone, huh? We weren't alone. Suzaha was here too. Uh, that girl was skipping work to polish her bicycle. <laughs> Dude! Right under, right. Here's the bus. Right under that bad boy. Right <laughs> Oh no! You're so
such a jerk, dude. You didn't even cover for her. You, you ask her to keep a secret, but you don't keep hers, dude. What the heck? Please forgive me, Suzaha. My life is too precious. <laughs> Is that true, Nay? She promised she'd let me ride her bike, so I gotta say she was skipping. <laughs> Sister Braun ends up betraying Suzanne too. <laughs> Aww. The manager breathes a heavy sigh. Skipping's the only thing she's good at, isn't it? Worthless part-timer. It's true, I've never seen her actually do work. Anyway, shouldn't you apologize for making false accusations? What? Heck no! Tch, stubborn old man. He thinks he owns the place just because he owns the place. <laughs> Understand? I won't let you off easy next time you make moves on my daughter. I wouldn't do something so suicidal. Mr. Braun nods in satisfaction. She's also, like, extremely little. Nay. I bought some cream puffs, so let's eat them together. Okay. He parks his moped next to Part-Time Warrior's bicycle, then enters the store hand-in-hand -hand with his daughter. Cream puffs? You can't get any more out of character than that. Is that what having kids does to a man? <laughs> hey! Part-timer! I know you were slacking off! Hey! And why is, is the 42-inch on? I thought I told you to turn it off! I'm sorry! <laughs> I leave Suzaha to her fate and return to the lab. I need to get in touch with Titter as quickly as possible. He might be able to give me the answers I seek. He might even be able to answer the event that I witnessed a few days ago. The instantaneous disappearance of everyone on the streets of Ak Akaba. Oh shoot, everyone, oh yeah, I forgot, oh jeez, I forgot this place was like packed, okay. When I burst into the lab, everyone looks at me with concerned expressions. Mayuri starts to speak, presumably to console me, but I put my hand up to stop her. Hold on, I gotta... Forest. Revelations. I can't give details, nya, but her songs are divine revelations, prophecies of the end of the world, nya. That, I'm telling you, that's gonna come into play. I remember that, that, uh, that was the, uh, the, 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 the idol or whatever, right? The singer? It's like a punk like rock whatever ah, anyway pretty sure that's what she's talking about anyway I couldn't care less at this very moment wait we'll talk when everything's over I explain that we can't experiment anymore now that Mr. Braun is back and then I dismiss everyone for today dude did he come back because they messed with time or was he always gonna come back like that I want to know like how much changes this is so weird. I have so many questions that I can't answer. Oh, okay. Um, I'll buy more bananas tomorrow, okay? Mayuri picks up her Upa plush toy off the sofa and hands it to me. Aw. So for now, hug this little guy super tight and cheer up, okay? Aw, dude. Looks like she's worried about me. But she shouldn't be. It's my job to worry about her. Aw, dude, it's wholesome. <laughs> ah! She has work after this, so she leaves. Daru goes with her, probably to see Ferris. Before he leaves, Lukaku apologizes again for messing up the Lotto 6 ticket. He knows about the time machine now. Next time I see him, I'll make him a lab mem to secure his silence. <laughs> He's gonna have so many lab members because he doesn't actually want to hurt anybody. Moika leaves with nothing more than a tiny bow. Oh, tiny bow, excuse me. 
In less than 30 minutes, Kiritsu and I are the only ones left in the lab. Oh boy. Oh, here we go, baby. Here we go. I'm ready. Hey, assistant. You're not going back to your hotel? Is there a problem? No, no problem. I was just wondering what you were still doing here. Nothing. I just wanted to think about things. Uh, think for a bit. Can't you think at your hotel? What? You're kicking me out? Ah, I get it. You'd be lonely in your hotel room, but you have no friends. So you want me, the great Hawawin Kyoma, to look after you. Isn't that right, you spoiled celeb sev? <laughs> How can he be so just chill? I can't take that. I can't take that he's so chill after everything that happened. He's so dense that he's just like, wow, that was really weird. What the heck happened? Oh, oh it hurts me. Okay. You're the lonely one, aren't you? You've been acting gloomy all day. Do you need some advice? I'm an outsider, in a sense. So it should be easier to talk to me, right? A man getting advice from a younger woman is kind of... <laughs> but if you're fine with that, then just ask away. <laughs> Why does she have to be such a smart aleck? She even has a mocking grin on her face. I need to send some emails. If you insist on staying here, then be quiet and stay out of my way. Okay, zombie? Of all your stupid names, that's that one's the worst. Despite her complaint, Kiritsu makes no move to leave. She sits down on the sofa and starts reading a massive technical book. On closer inspection, I realize it's in English. Maybe my assistant isn't a genius, but just an extreme st studier. <laughs> Want some coffee? Sure. I make some instant coffee for Kiritsu. I take a fresh Dr. P out of the refrigerator for myself and sit down in front of the computer. All right, let's do what needs to be done. I only hope this doesn't get undone too. My plan is to follow Suzaha's advice. Get in touch with Titter. After all, what I'm experiencing right now could have something to do with the many worlds interpretation. Which would mean that the Kiritsu standing over there isn't the same Kiritsu with whom I discussed the Lotto 6. Yeah, that's weird. And it would mean that this lab isn't the lab where we discussed it. But you're still apparently the same Okabe, right? So like, he's the only one that... That, 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 that... That went back, right? Like, is that, is that the case? That's weird. Or not went back, but he like went into... He, he like, his mind went into... Uh, like, he kept his mind from the other timeline into this timeline. Right? And then nobody else did. So that he's the only one that seems to have experienced that. Unless Souza is not telling us everything. So, I don't know. Lots of questions and I can't answer any of them yet. How can that be? What's wrong with you? Stop fidgeting. Kiritsu glares at me coldly. <laughs> Dang it! She's looking at me like I'm a perv again. I keep telling her I'm not a perv. I'm Hawawin Kyoma. <laughs> anyway, why am I the only one who remembers what happened? That's another question I'll ask John Titter. I don't know if he's a real time traveler, but he did help with the IBM 5100, so I'm inclined to trust him. But what should I write? Should I tell him everything? In any case, Worrying about it won't solve anything. Enough stalling. I take out my phone.
question. Thanks for the intel on the IBM 5100. The code is from CERN's database and other news. I've successfully built a uh, machine that sends emails. Uh, shoot. That sends, where is it? That sends emails to the past. When we change the past by sending an email, does that change the world line? I noticed some events we uh, were undone. Does that mean the world line changed? You said the many worlds interpretation is correct, but I'd like to hear the proof, if you don't mind. Okay, that's pretty, pretty good email. I sigh and chug my soda. I mean, it's kind of, it's going to hit him probably like a truck. He's going to be like, oh shoot, you actually did it? Or, um, he sh I'm hoping he'll believe us. He I hope he doesn't think that we're just messing with him or something. Now to wait for his reply. I check the at channel thread just to make sure, but Titter hasn't posted recently. That was a pretty heavy sigh. Kiritsu says without lifting her eyes from her book. Maybe I should tell her about how that D-mail changed the past. And about how she seems to have lost her memories about it. Oh, I forgot I got mail. Hold on. Um, shining finger. It was fun. I want to hear more about time machines next time, okay? It's a promise. See you. <laughs> uh, what is she after? Why am I considering talking to Kiritsu? Because I don't think Meiri uh, or Daru would understand this problem. Kiritsu, on the other hand, might be able to form a hypothesis. That's what I hope. Oh! Then, uh, just then, my phone rings. Heck yeah. Okay. Yes? Hello? Yeah, hello? <laughs> Okarin, I've made a terrible mistake. Mistake? Is it about the phone wave name subject to change? Is it related to the phenomenon I experienced earlier? No, no, no. He he tried to ask out Faris and it, and, it, and, it, and it blew up in his face. How much you want to bet? I'm calling it right now. I gulp. I know it's pathetic for a mad scientist to show anxiety, but I can't help it. I lick my dry lips and wait for Daru to speak. Actually... I left my wallet at the lab. Oh, well, that's not as interesting, but okay. W what? I can't go to May Queen like this. Can you bring me my wallet? I'll buy you a drink. Uh... <laughs> Don't jump in the river! I shout and hang up. <laughs> Dang it! I got stressed for nothing. But right afterward, my phone <laughs> rings again. <laughs> Tch, persistent little. Oh, it's Mayuri. It's Mayuri. Ah! Oh, did he call for? Wait, what? <laughs> what the heck? Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not delivering your wallet, okay? Da da da. No cutting. No cutting. Oh. It's you. You're with Daru, uh, you're with Daru, right? You don't have to lend that idiot any money, okay? Um, okay. So, oh, Karin, I was wondering if, uh, if you cheered up. Did you hug Upa like I said? Oh my gosh, I love her so much. Wait, and they got her talking over here. Wait, is this like a, is this just for like, like the audience watching or is he actually like like watching her that's weird like that's a really old phone to be doing that with but anyway she's so precious dude no i am a mad scientist full of madness and ambition I... <laughs> that's good you know if you're worried about anything talk to mayushi okay mayushi doesn't understand hard things but she does understand okari you understand me? Sure. 
We've been together since we were little, after all. <laughs> huh. I'm hanging up. Work hard now. <laughs> Thanks! Bye! <laughs> huh. She thinks she knows me. <laughs> Okabe, you're grinning. <laughs> Nonsense, Celeb Sev. Don't call me Celeb Sev. I was going to tell Kiritsu the truth, but now I've changed my mind. <laughs> the mad scientist Hawawin Kyoma would never grin at the words of a mere hostage like Mayuri. Oh, wait, hostage? Wait, what? Host- what? <laughs> okay, anyway. <sighs> You look like a girl in love waiting for an email from her boyfriend. She sure likes to attack me for every little thing. Are you really that desperate for attention? <laughs> it's Mayuri! Oh, dude. It's so cute, dude. I love it. Okay. Uh, you know, I've been working at May Queen for three months as of today. The other girls threw me a party. Oh, oh, look at the little face. I can't believe I've been a maid for three months. Time sure flew by. Oh, but don't worry. Mayushi's still Okarin's hostage full time. Oh yeah, that that was a joke, wasn't it? I, I totally forgot about that. Um. Uh, let's do let's see what three months says. A party after just three months? Ridiculous. I don't see how that deserves congratulations. You girls are crazy. No! No! Absolutely not. Praise her. Praise her right now. <laughs> you need money to buy junk food or else you'll die of starvation. I understand. Why? These are all mean. Stop! I still can't believe you're working at a maid cafe. I mean, you still never cosplay outside of work. Okay, that's... That's at least, like, 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 neutral, I guess. Gosh, what the heck? Can't even be nice to her when I want to, dude. That sucks. <laughs> Okabe, you better get, like, better, like, like, email options or I'm gonna be really upset. Only for Mayuri, though. That's the only one I really care about, so. Just getting revenge. You're always making fun of me, so I deserve at least this much. Despite what you may think, I actually respect you. <laughs> That's rich. You don't even say my name right. I'm sorry about that. Kiritsu lifts her face and stares at me in shock. Oh! Excuse me? What is this? Is he gonna is he gonna get her? Well no! No! Well, that's unexpected. You actually apologized. I do apologize, but I can't help it. For my brain has recorded you as my assistant, Christina, and I cannot correct it. <laughs> I'm gonna crack your skull open and stick electrodes in your hippocampus. Right after that silly exchange, John Titter's mail arrives. That was like a strangely human moment that he's had with her, like where he's actually like been nice. That's weird, out of nowhere. I think he's just in a good mood because Mayuri's the best. Okay, details, greetings, Kyoma. Uh, can you tell me exactly how you changed the past? I'd like to verify that what you said is true. Okay, all right. So he's he's at least based then. He's He's not just accepting it as like, you know, whatever, because it could be a troll. It makes sense. This is fine. Um, yeah, let's see. We sent an email today. It was sent to arrive, uh, a set to arrive uh, last. Oh, shoot, that's too much. It's too fast. No, stop. Stop. No. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, it was set to arrive last Tuesday, 170 hours ago. Uh, it contained the winning numbers for the third place prize of 
uh, uh, that night's Lotto 6 uh, drawing. The moment we sent the email, my associates who had helped plan the experiment and watched me send it instantly forgot that any of that had happened. When I checked, I found that the email had vanished from my phone's send history. I know for a fact uh, that it arrived in the past, as my friend, uh, my friend bought a Lotto 6 ticket based on information I had apparently given him. I got one of the numbers wrong, but otherwise it was an exact match. Oh, he got one of the numbers wrong. Wait a minute. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm just still trying to make sense of it myself, so. Who are you talking to? John Titter. Huh? No way. He's open to discussions as long as you're not trying to troll him, and his mail address is public. This is the second time we've exchanged mails. No wonder you keep referencing Titter's posts. You believe him, don't you? Not entirely, but there are several points in his story I do agree with. Really? I can't see it as anything but fiction. Well, what you've been doing is, like, straight out of fiction, right? That's very interesting. From the events you described, it sounds like you did indeed change the past. I suspect that the email you sent changed divergence. Okay. If only a little. Bravo! The instant your email arrived in the past, you shifted from your original world line to an ever so slightly different world line. But just Okabe. Only him. Why? Why? Okay. On this world line, you received an email from the future containing the Lotto 6 numbers. You told your friend the numbers, perhaps because you didn't quite trust the email. Ah! But your friend... See, I kind of was thinking that. I thought maybe he saw that and was like, wait a minute, this is the organization, and did his dumb little whatever thing, but really was just like, I don't know if I can trust this, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it off by one or something, right? Interesting. Okay. But your friend got a wrong... Uh, got, got a number wrong when he purchased the ticket. Well, wait. No, wait, wait. Um... Wait, you told your friend the numbers, perhaps because you didn't quite trust the email, but your friend got a number wrong. Well, no, wait, wait, wait. I don't see how that, because wouldn't it be that I changed the number? Like, I looked at it and said, ah, I'm not going to tell him every number right? Eh, whatever. Uh, the original email likely disappeared from your send history when the world line changed. It did. It did. All of this makes sense. Uh, the one thing I don't understand is how you kept your memories of the previous world line. Exactly. Just so we're clear, you are telling the truth, yes? Yes, I am. Yes, I still have my memories from before the past was changed. That's the truth. By the way, this is actually the second time this has happened. You traveled 26 years into your past. Haven't you experienced something similar? Also, what effect do you think my uh, intentional manipulation of, of the timeline might have? Oh boy. He'll probably say nothing, right? Because it's, it's so minute. Like, who cares? Memory. Um, I've confirmed that divergence is currently 0. 571015 how how do you confirm that do you have a do you have a, a a machine that can tell what the heck i cannot tell what the value was before you changed the past uh this is because i like your friends 
have no memories of the world line before you changed the past. In the case of physical time travel, memories are retained even if the world line changes, even if the world line changes. That's been proven by my own exp experience. Wait, so in the case of physical time travel, memories are retained even if the world line changes. Okay, that's been proven by my own experience. But in the case of an email like the one you sent, the time traveler changes the past without actually traveling through time. Oh! That makes sense. Okay. A situation that scientists uh, in my time never even considered. It wasn't necessary since the invention of the time machine in 2034 gave us a uh, means of physical time travel. Oh, so I'm afraid that I have no idea how to explain the phenomenon you've been experiencing. So they bypassed what Okabe just figured out. They bypassed the idea of 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 changing the past and and therefore changing a world line but not actually moving physically through time. So because they didn't physically move through time, he didn't get to experience what I'm but okay, but if you did physically move through time, you would still keep your own memories like he said. So in this case, we found out that you don't have to move through time to to keep your your memories. Is that is that correct? Cuz he said he said uh uh, uh, in the case of physical time travel, memories are retained even if the world line changes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but now we know that it happens this way, too. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what that means, though. I don't, like, I don't know how that, what, what the consequences of that will be how exactly do you measure divergence yeah thank you thank you yes i want to know this where do those numbers come from oh boy oh I, man there's no music either it's making me it feels intense okay the many worlds interpretation strictly speaking i was not being entirely accurate when I wrote that. The Everett Wheeler model is accepted in my time. The first functional time machine was completed in 2034. In the, in, in the two years following the, uh, that breakthrough, our understanding of the universe's structure grew dramatically. Okay. In 2036... Scientists proved that the universe is comprised of uh, attractor fields, which describe the extent of world line convergence. This theory was first proposed in 2020. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to answer your question. I have a meter that measures divergence. Oh, okay, it's a meter. A reading of 0% divergence corresponds to the world line uh, I originally came from. Oh. So wait, a reading of 0% divergence corresponds to the world line. So, so the world line he comes from, it starts at 0, and then when he changes it, it'll change ever so much. So he just probably did some math and realized how much of a percentage that it changed. So it, it wasn't even like point, what was it? It was, it was like 0.5% that it changed, basically, I think. Can't remember what that first number was now. Uh, in other words, it's a subjective, not absolute measurement. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, because he, he's... It's only subject. It's subjective in the sense that it it it's based off of a particular world line. Is that is that correct? Like it's not just overall like a, you know, like how you can measure with a, a ruler or something. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my head. <laughs> uh, this tool can only indicate the current divergence. 
Okay. Oh boy. Please explain these uh, attractor fields. How do they affect world lines? Yeah, I've never even heard of an attractor field, so I don't know if they just made that up for this game or if this is an actual real thing. Observing convergence. Put simply, attractor fields are the focal points of world line convergence. Their existence is responsible for phenomena previously known as fate and chance. There's no real point making small changes to a world line. No real point making small changes. Due to convergence. Sorry, I like I keep rereading stuff because I'm like really trying to like bake it into my brain and see if like how that's fitting into everything that we're doing. Uh due to convergence, small changes do not have a lasting influence. Right. Right, you mentioned that. Um, humans who can observe convergence are exceedingly rare. Wait, what? Why? I mean, if you have your meter, then anyone could look at it, right? Even, even if it is just subjective, but uh, whatever. I haven't met anyone with that ability myself. So it, it's like a special thing? It's like a, it's like a sixth sense or... I don't know what he's trying to say. So I'm unqualified to give you an accurate appraisal, but you, Kioma, might be one such individual. Oh! 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 Okay. So it is It is like a sixth sense, almost. It's like a, 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 a separate ability, almost. So Titter needs his machine to do that, but Okabe doesn't. He just He just can do it. Oh, that's fascinating. But how do you know it wasn't just because we just changed something in the past, but didn't actually change our physical place in 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 time, right? Like it could have just been because of that. I don't know. I don't know. This is really interesting. Okay. Um You might have the power to observe convergence. You might be the one who can guide us to a world line. Beyond 1% divergence across the wall that divides attractor fields. That's scary. How about we don't do that? I don't know if I like that. Ugh. The tone of Titter's mail has suddenly changed. He thinks I have some kind of power. First, I feel a sense of pride. Next comes apprehension. Could this be a trap? In the first place, I can't confirm if this is the real John Titter. And I don't even know if the John Titter from 2000 was really a time traveler. If Titter's world line theory holds, then that could explain the supernatural events I've experienced. But this last statement is pretty hard to swallow. As soon as I begin to doubt, all of his words start to smell like lies. That stuff about the IBM 5100 might have been a lie too. That mysterious program code could be just a simple bug. Now that he claims I have special powers, he's starting to sound like some new age con artist. And besides, I don't need Titter to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Kiditsu jerks at the sound of my laughter. D don't just start laughing like that. It's creepy. <laughs> but I must. He says I have powers. Isn't that rich? <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Oh. You don't have to tell me what I already know, John Titter. <laughs> Alright, you've got mail. Oh, it's Mayuri. You know why I don't cosplay. Mayushi doesn't want to stand out. I mean, I'm your hostage, right? <gasps> oh! Wait, wait. 
Dude, does she not cosplay? Like, does she, does she want to, but she doesn't because she's trying to, to be what Okame wants her to be? Oh, no. No, that's sad. No. Oh, dude, you gotta stop. Let her live life, dude. No. You made her think that she has to. No. That's so sad. Oh. I snapped my eyes wide open. I raised my phone high to the heavens. My true power is the magic eye reading Steiner. It sounds to me like you've got a bad case of Chinibio. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? Uh, uh. <laughs> Kiritsu hides her face in her book. Aw, dude, what the heck was that? She pretends to read, but I can see from here that her ears are bright red. How does she know about Chinibio? <laughs> you freaking weeb. You weeb. Call her out on it, dude. Is she a, an at channeler after all? No, that doesn't matter now. I need to reply to Titter. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is beyond the wall? What will happen when we cross it? I, I don't know if I want to know that. The future. If we cross the wall, we will have freedom. If we do not... And the dystopia I came from will be your future. Okay, conspiracy theory time. Conspiracy theory time. Conspiracy theory time. What if? What if John Titter's evil? All right, what if John Titter's evil? What if he's trying to change it because it's actually like they're trying to take over the world and he was trying to find somebody. They were trying to go back in time. What if they were trying to go back in time and find somebody who can observe convergence, right? Because he's saying we'll have freedom. What if that's just what if what if that's just to rope us in to get us into it, right? What if he actually is evil? What if John Titter's evil? That's I'm, um, dude, dude. If I'm right, dude, dude, somebody owes me some subs, some freaking likes, dude. So I I should get something for that, brother. Come on, if I called that this this early, he's got to be evil. He's got to be. I'm calling it now. Um. Uh, yeah, then the dystopia I came from will be your future. In exchange for providing false peace and joy, your masters will stamp out every last vestige of free will. As I said on At Channel, my goal is to change that future. And you may be the one who can make that possible. I'm telling you, he's trying to use us. He's trying to use us, dude! Ugh. Okay. Now it's getting creepy. Is this some kind of new cult? Or is he really trying to con me here? He's also contradicting himself again. The titter who appeared in 2000 said he traveled back in time to retrieve technology lost in World War III. I bet he'll just say it's a cover-up, right? He'll just say it's a cover-up. Either that! Or when we went to this new, this new world, this new world line, it made him evil. Could be any of those things, but I have a feeling he's just, he just said that because he was looking for the person that could observe convergence. How much do you want to bet? Yet this guy's saying he came to prevent the creation of a dystopia ruled by CERN. This guy might be an imposter. I'm fed up, so I quit replying. But just as I'm about to put away my phone... <laughs> what? The heck? <laughs> Excuse me? Kioma, I want you to be the messiah? If the same thing happens to you again, please contact me once more. That moment will prove that you are the messiah. That's... 
I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about that. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's like same feeling, same feeling. I like. Oh man. Raises the hairs on the back of my neck. What is this? Fear? Disgust? I don't know. But something is very wrong. Dude, it's like he's in my brain. Like, I legitimately- This is how I'm feeling right now. This is how I'm feeling. Like, I don't know if- I don't know if it's like- I don't know what that is. I just know I can't trust him anymore. Can't trust John Titter. Mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, nope, nope. John Titter bad. John Titter bad, bad, bad. <laughs> 